How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be putting these four different branded stand-up scrapers to the test and see which one works best for which products. This video is brought to you and sponsored by Tools for Flooring and EJ Welch. Tools for Flooring is America's number one online store for all of your flooring supplies and tools. Click on the card to check them out. So in this video, we're going to be uh, demonstrating the Crane 375 8 inch razor scraper, the Gunlock 4 inch razor scraper, the Roberts 10 195 6 inch scraper, and also the Marshalltown 6 inch scraper. What I've done, I've got three different materials on the floor here and they are glued down with the spray lock adhesive, okay? We've got VCT glued down, sheet vinyl, and also some vinyl plank. All of them are glued down with the exact same adhesive. So I'm gonna take up portions of each one of these products with each one of these scrapers and see which scraper is gonna work best on which product, okay? I guess for the first one, we're gonna go with this Crane 375. And this is, a, this is fairly short right now, but these are pretty nice. You can just grab it, twist it, and extend it out to the desired length, okay? So if you're a taller guy or a shorter guy, you can adjust this to your height, okay? We're gonna use a 375 and we are taking up some VCT uh, that's adhered to the floor with spray lock adhesive. Okay. This scraper right here is absolutely wonderful for certain products. Something hard like this, I don't think this is going to be the proper tool for this application. That is one reason why right there, whenever this hits something solid, it tends to shrink on down a little bit, this locking mechanism in here. This razor scraper is actually intended for scraping slick surfaces, such as that right there. If you wanna get your floors really good and clean, this is gonna be the ideal scraper for that. Not so much for the VCT demo, okay? I'm gonna take this scraper now. We're gonna take up some sheet goods. This might do fairly good on this sheet goods here because it is, uh, a thinner product and a softer product. It's not gonna be as hard or solid as the VCT. So let's check it out. This is angled right here. You can see it's angled right here. I've already broke that blade. I see down there on the floor doing that tile. So definitely not a good choice for the VCT demo. But anyway, we're gonna take this at an angle in this vinyl, uh, sheet vinyl here and slice it right up off the floor. Okay, so that actually worked really good for that, just like I thought it would. And again, this is put down with the exact same adhesive that that is. So it just works really well on that sheet good. It, it might do the same thing here. This is gonna be similar. These glue down vinyl planks are gonna be similar to the VCT, but also similar to the uh, sheet goods here. So we'll see how it works. Maybe it'll do good, maybe it won't. Let's just give it a try. Okay, well that just knocked up there uh, again. So that wasn't, wasn't too bad for that. Now we're gonna try out this four inch razor scraper made by Gunlock. Again, this is a razor scraper, so I am assuming that it's gonna do better on the sheet goods versus the tile demo right here. But needless to say, this don't have any adjustments or anything on it like that. It is what it is, no shorten it or long uh, giving, making it longer or anything. It just is what it is. So let's give this a try. Again, these little razor scrapers are for smooth surfaces, okay? So looky here. I mean, this will get all the little bitty paint and everything off the floor. These things work really good for getting the floor really nice and clean, okay? They're typically not made for big time demo 
such as VCT and such like that, okay? So let's go ahead and give it a try again. It is at an angle, just like the other razor scraper here, so I am gonna run this in my products at a slicing motion, okay? Okay, I actually feel like that this one done better than the Crane 373. I want to point out why too, right here, that this did do better than that. This part of the tool right here where it meets the actual blade is really nice and thin. On the Crane 373, this is pretty thick. So when the razor goes underneath of the tile, the tile will actually hit a flat edge right here and that's what was causing the scraper to stop, okay? This one's nice and slanted, really thin right here. So the product will actually just ride right up over that versus hitting and dead ending right there. Now we're gonna take this four inch scraper on the sheet vinyl right here, again at a slicing motion with the angle. As you can see, when I'm doing that, I'm only going a little bit at a time. I'm not trying to take a whole bunch up at a time. Simply slicing that glue right up off the floor. And if you look right here, this is actually the adhesive that was on the floor. These razor scrapers are really good about stuff like that, so it took that adhesive right up off the floor, okay? Okay, we're gonna take this on the glued down vinyl plank now. Again, we're gonna go in at a slicing motion. And that done it right there, that, that sliced it right up. Again, you can see once again, the adhesive just comes right off the floor with this scraper right here. I gotta be honest with you, man, I am super, super surprised with this scraper right here, this was probably my least favorite out of all of them, just by looking at them and judging them by the appearance, but it is proven to be a really good scraper. This time I'm gonna give uh, the Marshalltown six inch scraper a go. Um, this is built angled. It has, if I'm not mistaken, a 30 degree angle on this handle right here, which gives you already the laying flat type of feel. I mean, if you're really tall, you're gonna to need to lean over a lot, but for the most part, because the handle of it is bent a little bit down there, it kind of gives it that good feel as you're using this scraper, okay? Um, this, I'm guessing, is gonna do pretty good for these hard products like this right here. I think this is gonna be more ideal for this specifically, okay? Absolutely. Okay, that's a no-brainer. This one right here works really good for this. Done really good on that. Um, this does have a fiberglass handle also, so it is a lightweight scraper. Fiberglass is usually pretty good and strong if you was to pry up on it or something like that. Sure, it's gonna break as with anything, break or bend, but for what it is, it's a really great tool, especially for that right there. Um, we're gonna come with the sheet vinyl now, and just my guess, this is where this one is not gonna shine the best because you are gonna want something sharp to slice this vinyl off the floor and this is not a razor scraper. Okay, well, there you go. That actually done really good for the sheet vinyl as well. One good thing that I can definitely see about this, the shovel hand part of this is really thick. So you could take and sharpen this time and time and time again Anytime you dull it, grind it on concrete, hitting ceramic, grout, or anything like that, you can just take a file and sharpen that again. So this is, looks like an, is gonna prove to be a really nice scraper.
Okay, done real good on that as well. Marshalltown, just like Gunlock, you have surprised me with this tool. I thought it was going to do really good on the tile, not so good on the vinyl. You uh, proved your tool to be worthy. It absolutely did really good on the vinyl, sheet vinyl, all three of these products have done really good. If I was wanting to slice up some glue or uh, something like that, maybe even slicing up some old felt back vinyl, this probably is not going to be your scraper of choice. You're probably going to want to go with the Razor scraper for that. But for overall demo, this one right here is key, okay? Okay, I got to say, I was quite surprised whenever I seen this Roberts 10, 9, 10 195 scraper. I have never seen one like this in my life. The blade that goes on this was, is one that will actually go on a demolition tool, either the kind that you push and walk behind or even the ride-on tools, okay? So it definitely has a super, super heavy-duty blade. The shaft of this thing, everything about this tool right here is absolutely heavy-duty. It looks like a little nubby, but the way this thing is designed, you actually put, twist that, and it releases and then you put a stretcher pole in it so this is what's going to be the handle of this and with that being said you can take and adjust this to any desired length that you want to just by stretching out your stretcher pole okay so this right here is definitely definitely going to be a heavy duty scraper uh, we'll just check it out and see how it actually does on the demo okay and then you'll take this handle stick it in your pole and turn it to give it a lock right there um, now again you can get this to your desired length just by pushing the buttons and locking it in wherever you would like it okay I'm gonna go about right there just one button up and uh, Again, this is a heavy duty mamma jamma right here. This is not very thick where the blade meets the actual tool right here. It's pretty nice and thin like the gun lock. So I feel like this is gonna do pretty good for taking up, I think everything. We'll see what happens. Before I say too much, let's just see what happens, okay? Again, this is a straight one though. This is uh, not set on an angle like the two razor scrapers. So it's not really gonna matter how you uh, use this tool. Uh, main thing is you don't try to go the full tool at once. You always want to come a little bit at a time and you're going to have a whole lot better luck, okay? Man, I am liking that. That was nice. This thing is so heavy. It's got this stretcher pole and the tool was heavy all by itself but now with the added weight of this stretcher pole it's not hardly taking any effort to jab it up underneath there because the weight of the tool itself is just gliding it right underneath there so I am happy with this I am super happy with this this was my thought that this one was going to reign supreme when I got them all I thought this one was going to be the best and it just might prove that. We'll, we'll, we'll see after we get these two up. I'm going to try some. Uh, and this one, being sharp, unlike the Marshalltown, was a bit blooded, blunted on the end of the blade. Uh, this one is sharp. And again, it can be sharpened over and over again, too. So this one is going to do really good on the sheet vinyl, too, I'm sure. And again, knowing how to use the scrapers, taking it in at an angle and not trying to get the complete width of the tool under it all at once, just driving it in at an angle, inch or two inches at a time instead of six inches at a time, is going to be key for a successful project there. That worked out really good. I'm liking this right here. Again, the weight of this thing is just incredible, which is making it easy to use. It's just easy to use because it's got so much weight with it.
Okay. Um, like the razor scrapers, you can actually see this did cut up some adhesive because it is so nice and sharp. It cut up adhesive like the razor scraper did. So this is really nice tool. Um, this blade does come sharp, sharp on both sides, this side of the blade. And if you turn it around, the blade, the part that's inside the tool here is also sharp. So you get the life of two blades out of one, okay? Uh, let's judge them. Okay, so overall on all of these tools, um, this is my judgment. I think on the heavier demo, I honestly don't know. Uh, I was going to say this one, but this one right here is, it was really, really good also. So I don't know if I would say this one or this one, which one I would rather have if I had to tear up a bunch of VCT or something. Um, this one is nice to use because it is angled like that. It sure makes it convenient. But the weight of this scraper right here and the sharpness of it, man, it just made it so effortless to, to get up. So heavy demo, it's a toss up. These two right here, the Roberts 195 or the Marshalltown six inch scraper. Again, they can both be sharpened. This one is lightweight, feels good to use. This one's heavy, easy to use, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna call that one a tie. Uh, in either one of these right here, if I had to choose, and now this is a little weird because I have always used this crane. It's what I actually have myself for my entire career. It's the, my go-to scraper that I've always had. And they're really tough. They last a long time. I've only had two of these that has lasted my entire career from 19 to 44 since I've been working for myself. Um, this one is really lightweight, super easy to use. I think all of these have, um, I think they all have their place in the industry here, honestly. This is gonna be super nice for uh, little small areas, like you need to get something really crisp and clean if you're doing some glue down or something like that. It's gonna be better than this one for that is concerned, because if you have a slight dip or something in your concrete, your six inch blade may float over something where this one is more narrow, so it's actually gonna be smooth on the concrete more. So um, out of these two, I would think I would have to choose the Gunlock four inch scraper over the Crane eight inch scraper. That's just my, my ruling right there. Again, um, I'm gonna eliminate one of these right here. I would probably rather have this one right here over this one and even for an all-purpose all the way out scraper if i could only have one of these four scrapers right there i would choose this one that's going to be my judgment i would take the roberts 195 i think i like i think i like this it's better for all applications not just a heavy uh not just a hard surface demolition such as this is really good on that other stuff. If I needed to clean the floor really good, this is gonna work really great also. This is not gonna scrape up your glue and your sheetrock mud and such like that off the floor as this one will. This one's gonna be an all around better scraper for any situation. And again, it is the Roberts 195. Like I was saying, the cool thing about this is whenever you're not using it, super compact, throw it on your shelf, forget about it. Okay, this is like, a, it's like maybe a foot and a half, 16 inches or something like that. And also, if you wanted to get down and dirty with something, look at here. You could absolutely, absolutely scrape the fire out of something. Nice short, got that shovel handle, I really like that. And still, even with it just that small, it's a really solid, durable scraper. Okay, that's my judgment, that's my ruling. The Roberts 195 definitely reigns supreme in this challenge. You can get all of these tools at toolsforflooring.com. I will leave a link to, in the description to all of these products here. Go get you one, they're gonna be a lifesaver. 
Until next time, FBSB's out.